before we start working on creating a restful resource using jersey in this lecture i will explain the maven project dependencies and the configuration you can download this jersey ws project from the contents of this lecture and import into your eclipse so that you can browse along with me the main file is the pom.xml which is the maven configuration file it has the maven coordinates for this project along with the java compiler the important section here is the dependencies section in addition i have the dependency management section this is one good way of managing the versions of your dependencies instead of declaring the versions everywhere we have a dependency management section wherein we specify the version and from that point in every other place or project we can simply refer to the dependency and the version information will always be taken from here the version i have declared it as a property i have taken the 2.18 version which is the latest version of jersey and the dependency i have in the dependency section is the jersey container servlet core which transitively brings all the other dependencies which we need so that's the pom.xml the next important file is the web.xml which is the deployment descriptor under webinf the web.xml has the jersey servlet servlet container which is the jersey servlet it's in the org glass fish package it comes with the jars or the dependencies which we have defined in the pom.xml and this is mapped to a rest api url in cxf we have mapped it to the slash services uri it depends on whatever you want in your application you can map it to a particular uri and the important parameter here is the jersey config server provider packages this is the package name where we are going to write all our services so in the next lecture when we create a package will come here and change this value and point it to the java package name so that jersey will scan through that packages for the restful resources and start serving those resources when incoming requests come in for this uri last but not the least the index.jsp is a simple jsp page which has a link along with some text it has a link when you click on it it will go to this uri which we will map to our resource which we create in the next lecture so the three important components the pom.xml which has all the jersey dependencies then the web.xml which has the jersey servlet defined along with the url mapping and also a to do section which we will map in the next lecture and finally the index.jsp